So, who's this mystery connection? Well, the fact that I haven't told you his name yet should be a clue, and you're about to smell another one. Is that Liverwurst? No, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. Mm. Nothing, my boy. How the hell out of you? <laughs> Come on, give us a hug. <laughs> Hi, Earl. You remember Barry? Of course, the tadpole. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I saw you, you were floating on my office ceiling. I was, yeah. Hey, thanks very much for cleaning up the cobwebs, by the way. <laughs> yeah, good to see you too, Earl. Ralph says you got some information. Oh, that I do. Mm. And for a wee bit of cheddar cheese, shall we say, I'd be happy to hand over said specifics. Friends and family, right, of course. Oh, of course, yeah. It's what the envelope full of money on my desk was for. You know, the one that's currently in your left inside pocket. Oh, so it is. How about that? <laughs> right, how about that info, Earl? Oh, right, yes. There it is. There you are. Did you take that? Sure. A pal of mine, Big Raff, fed me that intel. Turns out that the device you've been looking for has been circulating in the underground black market. Sounds like eminent Black's territory. Uh, I mean, it's still MIA. But believe it or not, her ex-boyfriend is filling the void. You ever heard of cold face? Yeah, he's stolen more weaponized tech than any criminal in the city. CCPD's been looking for his black market for years. Oh, I know. Keep on coming up empty. You see, Goldface runs his business like a 57 Deville. Purrrrs, like a kitten. You pay at the market, then poof. Your goods turn up a day later in an abandoned warehouse. <laughs> so by the time we get what we want, <laughs> Goldface will be long gone. <laughs> well, listen, uh, thanks, Earl, and, you know, try to eat some fruit or something. Oh. Will do. Oh, always a pleasure, Ralphie, taking money from you. Right then, Jets, see you around. Hopefully. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, we're supposed to pay Goldface and then just let him get away? Well, you said we need to think outside the box. Not outside the law. This is making a deal with the devil. No, this is stopping Cicada. Look, I don't like this any more than you do, but in some cases, the ends justify the means. And stopping a psychotic meta killer who we are literally powerless against, that's one of those cases. You know you're not wearing that, right? What are you talking about? I look great. What are you, uh, 42 long? I'm not gonna look like you, am I? You should be so lucky.